Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to mute and unmute a keypad not because you want to mute or unmute uh, sorry not because you want to mute the keypad but because some people um, are muted by uh, by mistake and uh, um, and then the, the uh, panel behaves in a way that is that they didn't expect or they don't expect so I want to show you what happens when you mute a keypad and how to unmute it so uh, a little bit of um, uh, of um, an explanation about my uh, my environment here I have an SP6000 Paradox SP6000 with a K10H and um, a K35 this is the uh, one that is that we see most often in the field um, my uh, entry and exit delays have been shortened to uh, 15 seconds for the purpose of this demonstration so we don't have to uh, wait too long uh, in your case the entry delay is most likely 30 seconds and the exit delay is usually 45 to 60 seconds but it could be longer if you have a bigger house so <coughs> let's see what happens normally so uh, also uh, this uh, k35 is muted at the moment so as uh, not to confuse us where the sound is coming from so let's see what happens when i arm the system so i'm going to put my code one two three four so it starts counting down you see it's beeping from beginning to end so now it's counting down the last 10 seconds and it's, it's still beeping <coughs> So now the system is armed in stay mode. So let's see what happens when I open the door. So when I open the door, it starts giving me the um, the entry delay. So you hear the uh, the keypad is beeping. And then if I don't put my code within the the 15 seconds that I've specified, now it went in full alarm. Like it now the alarm went off. And uh, if I have a siren connected, I don't in this case. If I have a siren connected, the siren would go off. So I disarm the system. Okay, I'm gonna close the door and let me uh, mute the keypad. So to mute the keypad, you hold the clear button for um, until until you hear until you hear, you hear a beep. This this is about um, takes about 10 seconds. So you hold down. Once I hear a beep, I release. Okay, now I heard the beep, I released my finger. So let's see what happens when I enter my code. So one, two, three, four. So now it starts counting down, it starts beeping. And then once it reaches the 10 seconds, now you don't hear anything. <coughs> so now the uh, panel is armed in stay mode. Now let's see what happens when I open the door. Keeping in mind both keypads are now muted. I muted this from before and this is a, this one I just muted. So now uh, I went in, uh, in entry delay and I don't hear anything from the keypad. So I don't know that there's, that the alarm is gonna go off. Now the alarm went off. I don't, I still don't hear anything from the keypad but if I have a siren connected, the siren would go off and there would be panic everywhere. So let's mute the keep uh, let's disarm the system okay so now the system is disarmed um, and now i'm going to uh, put it back to the way it was so hold down the clear button until you hear you hear a beep now that i heard the beep i release so if i arm the system again see now it starts beeping and once it reaches the last 10 seconds, it's still beeping. So now it's back to normal. This is how it should be. <coughs> so I'm going to disarm the system. I'm going to show you the same thing here. It's the same exact same process, but to avoid confusion, I'm going to mute this one. So. Now this keypad is muted, uh, let's see what happens, this one is muted also. So let's see what happens when I put my code, so one, two, three, four. 
this one I think behaves a little bit differently. So you see it's uh, fully like it's uh, it, see now it, it stopped beeping. Okay, so if I open the door, okay, I close the door. Doesn't matter if I leave it open. The, now, now I'm in entry delay, but I don't know that I'm in entry delay because and see now the the uh, system is in alarm. So if I have a siren, the siren would go off. So it's uh, that's why I don't like uh, the keypad being in uh, uh, like uh, being muted. So you put back the code. Uh, let's unmute the keypad. So uh, all the zones are closed. Uh, I hold down the clear button. Once it beeps, I release. Okay, so now it's, it should be unmuted. Let's see what happens. One, two, three, four. Now we start counting down. Remember the last 10 seconds here? Uh, it wasn't beeping, now it's beeping. So now the keypad is unmuted. <coughs> now it's in stay mode. If I open the door, okay, now the door, the uh, keypad beeps, so I know that it's expecting me to put the code. Um, and if I don't put the code fast enough, it goes in alarm. One, two, three, four. So there you go. This is how to mute and unmute the keypad. Um, this is not. Um, it's not. No, it's not common that you do this. I don't know what scenario would require you to do this. Uh, but this is how to undo it if, if it gets muted by accident. Um, you see here when I open the door, it beeps. So you may want to um, un like mute a zone. Like if you don't want when you open the door, you don't want to, you don't want the uh, the keypad to beep. You can you can mute only that zone. I will show you in another video how to do that. Or if you have let's say like if you have a, a motion detector like here, you don't want the 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 um, the motion detector to beep the zone to beep every time someone moves right so this is how so um, I will show you in another video how to do that this applies to the SP six thousand uh, SP um, uh, five thousand SP fifty five hundred um, like most uh, paradox panels panels will will uh, follow that same process to the keypad. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask and I will uh, try to answer them. Uh, if you have any recommendations or you feel of the, or if there's a, a topic that you need covered uh, please let me know and I'll make a video for it. Thank you.